Hello there Madlates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Okay? So bago tayo mag-start, flex ko lang ulit ang aking mga official social media accounts. So on Instagram, you can follow me at Errol04. On TikTok, you can follow me at Mats and Logics. And on Facebook, you can follow me at Larry Manalan del Rosario if you have questions, queries, may mga tanong kayo regarding these videos na hindi nyo kayang itanong dito sa YouTube channel natin, you can reach me out on my official Facebook account by sending me a personal message. Pwede picture din yung question and then tanong ninyo sa akin and kung luluobin, uh, masasagot natin yun in time na kapag hindi tayo busy. Okay? So marami ding mga um tag dito Mara, mga nagre-request to do video on ellipse okay so matagal na din ako nagrecord regarding conic sections alam niyo naman na apat yung conic sections natin and i was able to record about circle parabola hyperbola so may isang lesson na nakalimutan so yun yung itatackle natin ngayong araw okay sorry kung ngayon lang siya na video at masyado na delay so bago tayo mag-start identify muna natin yung objective ng lesson natin ngayong araw so the objective, as you watch this video, as you finish watching this video, you'll be able to find the standard equation of ellipse given the graph, and you'll be able to find the foci of an ellipse given the general or standard equation. Okay. So our lesson for today is all about conic section. To be more specific, it is all about ellipse. Okay. Let us analyze. Ellipse. First, in the standard equation of an ellipse. Simulan natin sa standard equation, okay? So, hindi naman ito masyadong komplikado. All you have to do is to uh, listen attentively. And kung hindi kayo naintindihan sa video na ito, pwede nyo siyang i-play ng paulit-ulit. That's the advantage of uh, pre-recorded videos para kahit papano, pwede nyo siyang i-pause, pwede nyo siyang ulitin kapag may hindi kayo naintindihan. Okay? So, dito sa standard equation of an ellipse, sa akin kasi, it, I am more on visual learner, so para sa akin, mas madali siyang intindihin kapag na-visualize ko siya. Okay. So, identify natin tong given na to. Okay. Sabi natin, standard equation of an ellipse. Okay. Kamukha ng parabola, okay, yung ellipse, yung equation din niya nagvavary din. Let's say, for example, in parabola, if it opens upwards or if it opens sidewards, magkaiba yung ginagamit nating equation. Nagvavary yung equation. The same with analyzing ellipse. Okay. Saan siya nagkakaiba? So, ito yung image ng ating ellipse. Numitan natin ng highlight, ng pointer. So, ito yung image ng ating ellipse. Medyo uh, oblong type or oval type yung dating niya. Hindi siya circle. Okay? Ibig sabihin, kapag oblong type, pwedeng, uh, pwedeng mas mahaba siya in vertically or horizontally. Pwedeng mas mahaba siya in x-axis, shorter naman siya sa y-axis. Pwedeng longer siya sa y-axis, shorter naman siya sa x-axis. Okay? So, eto yung kanyang shape. So, yung ating... Um, Ellipse ay merong tinatawag na focus o tinatawag na foci. Kung ang, ha, ang parabola meron siyang isang focus, dito naman sa ating ellipse meron siyang dalawang focus or dalawang foci. Okay. Yung center natin will also be will still be h and k, ang representation or variable na ginagamit natin still h and k. And yung major axis natin dito tayo nagva-vary. Yung major axis natin will determine kung saan mas mahaba yung ating uh, ellipse. Okay. Kapag mas mahaba siya horizontally or vertically. So, in this case, kung mapapansin nyo, vertically mas mahaba siya. And in X and Y axis, alam natin na uh, vertical lines represents the Y axis. Okay. So, in this case, kapag mas mahaba siya dito sa vertical part niya, that means, yung major axis natin is along the y-axis. Okay? So, yung general equation, ay, yung standard equation natin for an ellipse is in the form of x, 
x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. So, ito lagi yung sinusunod natin. Where h and k are both, where h and k is the center of ellipse. Okay? And, idedetermine naman natin ano naman tong a and b natin na to. Okay? So, ito yan. Bakit napaka-importante na malaman ninyo yung major axis natin. Okay? Kapag ang major axis natin is along the y-axis, that means B is always greater, greater than A. Mas malaki yung value ni B. Yung gagamitin natin value sa kanya compare kay A. Okay? Again, remember, bakit natin kailangan malaman kung nasaan yung major axis natin? It will determine kung ano yung value ng A and B natin dun sa equation na gagamitin natin mamaya. Kasi kung mas malaki yung, kung along the y-axis siya, B should be greater than A. Yun yung palatandaan natin. In this case naman, ayan, para kamukha lang din siya nung kanina. Kaya lang kung mapansin nyo, dito naman, ang major axis niya is along the x-axis. If it is along the x-axis, horizontal yung line niya. Ayan, medyo pa horizontal yung pagtaba ng ating oval. Ang gagamitin nating equation, still the same with this one. We have x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1, where a is greater than b. Okay, so para mas maintindihan nyo itong example, na, itong uh, idea na to, itong concept na to, magkaroon tayo ng two examples. So, isa example is uh, uh, finding the standard equation and another example in finding the foci. Kabalik tara naman niya. Okay. So, let us analyze a leaf na given yung graph. Ayan. So, eto yung graph natin. Kung mapansin nyo, ang graph natin ay merong mga um, vertex na uh, 4 units along the x-axis from the center, 6 units naman siya from, sa y. Ayan. So, ang gagamitin pa rin natin equation ay x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. Okay. Analyze natin. So, mapansin nyo ang center natin, ay, ay ang ating center is at 0, 0. Origin. Nasa origin siya. 0, 0, no? Okay. Next, yung mga vertices naman natin ay, of course, yung una natin ay sa x-axis muna tayo, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we have 4, 0. Dito naman sa negative, negative 4, 0. 0, 6. And then, 0, negative 6. So, meron tayong apat na vertices. Again, apat ang vertices ng ating um, ellipse. Okay. So, the major axis contains the higher vertices value. So, the higher vertices value is 6. So, that definitely... Uh, ang major axis natin ay along the y-axis. If it is along the y-axis, sabi natin kanina, kung babalikan natin yung example natin kanina dun sa figure, kapag along the y-axis, B should be greater than A. So dito, if it is 6 units away from the center and it is 4 units away from the center, yung B natin, dun natin ilalagay yung 6. Yung A natin, yung, four, yung sa A natin, doon naman natin ilalagay yung 4 which is a smaller number than 6. Kasi mas malaki dapat si B kay A. And then ilalagay lang natin yung HK which is 0, 0 yung center natin. So our standard equation is X minus 0 squared over 4 squared plus Y minus 0 squared over 6 squared equals 1. Uh, simplifying it further, it will give us X minus 0 is simply X, so X squared. 4 squared is 4 times 4, we have 16, so x squared over 16, plus y minus 0 is y squared, and 6 times 6 equals 36, so we have y squared over 36 equals 1, giving us the standard equation as x squared over 16 plus y squared over 36 equals 1. Okay, yung next given naman natin ay we are going to find the foci. So, paano naman natin uh, hinahanap yung 
foci given naman yung equation. So, in this case, kung mapapansin nyo, sabi nyo, Sir Larry, bakit po ganun yung equation? Wala naman siyang denominator, hindi rin siya naka-equal kay 1. Okay, so, ang tawag natin dito sa equation na to ay general equation. Hindi pa siya in standard. Okay, so, paano natin to gagawing standard? Dapat equal to 1. Again, dapat equal to 1. So, paano to magiging equal to 1? Paano magiging equal to 1 si 225? Okay. It will become equal to 1 sa standard form if we will divide 225 by 225. So, sabi natin, what we did doon sa isang side, gagawin natin sa isang side. So, kung sa right side natin, 225, nag-divide tayo ng 225, we will also divide 225 doon sa left side. So, it will have 25x squared divided by 225 plus y, 9y squared over 225 equals 225 divided by 225. That will give us uh, pag sinimplify natin to, it will give us x squared over 9. Why? Kasi, they are both divisible by 25. 25 divided by 25 is 1. So, hindi na natin nilalagay. May iwan na lang yung x squared. 225 divided by 25 is 9. Plus, uh, ito naman divisible by 9 din naman siya. So, it become 9y squared divided by 9 is y squared. And then, 225 divided by 9 will give us 25. Equals, 225 divided by 225 is equal to 1. So, we have x squared over 9 plus y squared over 25 equals 1. Ayan. So, ito yung ating original, uh, yung sinusunod nating uh, equation, standard equation, para hindi kayo malito, nilagay ko na siya dyan. Okay. So, dito, lalagay lang natin yung a squared equals 9, b squared equals 25, and c squared, okay? Yung c squared natin will serve as our foci that will lead us on our step 2 in calculating our foci. So, how do we calculate our foci? Kinakalculate natin yung c squared or yung ating foci by subtracting the longer, uh, longer part or vertices to the shorter. Okay, yung value natin dun sa longer is 25, okay? 25. And then, yung value naman natin dun sa b squared, I sorry, a squared is 9. Okay, so para makuha natin yung c squared, we're just going to subtract 25 by 9. It will give us 16. Okay, since it is in c squared, ang foci natin is simply c, kailangan natin kuha na yung square root ng both sides. Ang square root ng c squared ay c, and ang square root ng for 16 ay positive or negative 4. Ayan. So, nakuha na natin yung ating C para makalculate natin yung ating foci. Mamaya, makafinalize na natin yung ating foci. So, in step 3, foci on the major axis. Okay. Ilalagay natin yung foci sa major axis. Again, paano natin ina-identify yung major axis? Okay. Yung major axis natin, kung saan ang mas mataas na value, doon yung major axis. Say for example, sa 9 and 25, napansin ninyo, 25 is greater than 9. Tama? So, B is greater than A. So, that means, ang major axis natin is along the y-axis. So, yung foci natin, ilalagay natin along the y-axis. Okay. Para magkaroon tayo ng isang vertex, it will we will have... Uh, x and y. So, kung if it is along the y-axis, zero automatic yung ating x-axis and yung y naman natin ay 4. So, ang foci natin ay 0, 4 and 0, negative 4. Ginamit natin yung positive 4, gagamitin natin yung negative 4. Ayan. So, dito naman, para mas madali nyo ding ma-visualize yung ating example dito, ayan, uh, Ito lang din yung given natin kanina. So, yung center niya ay 0, 0. Ayun yun. Yung vertex niya ay 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. And then, negative 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. Ayan, nalagay na din natin. Ginraf na natin yung kanina. And then, 0, 5. Kasi ito, pag kinuha mo yung square root nito, it will, it will give you uh, 3. Pag kinuha mo yung square root nito, it will give you 5. So, kapag ka, ginraf natin yan from the center, ito yung center niya. Kasi yung, uh, zero lang naman yon So, zero, zero yung center niya. So, dito lang din siya sa origin. 
So, the square root of 9 is 3. So, 1, 2, 3. Gito natin siya ikagraph. And then, 1, 2, 3. So, we have 3, 0 and negative 3, 0. Ito naman, pag kinuha natin yung square root, it will give us 5. So, it is 0, 5 and 0, negative 5. 0, 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0, negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, yung ating foci ay 0, 0, 4 and 0, negative 4. So, i-draw lang natin yung ating foci. Ayan. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ayan yung ating foci. And then, in this case naman, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ito yung ating foci. Okay. Importante yung foci natin kasi foci determines the shape o yung total appearance ng ating ellipse. Okay, so nag-graph na din natin siya. I hope you learned something on our video for today. Uh, I-explain ko pa sa inyo kung ano-ano pa yung mga problems involving, involving this ellipse and other uh, conic sections sa mga susunod nating videos. And I hope uh, you learned something and feel free to comment your suggestion or question regarding this video. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para wala kayong mamiss na video regarding this dito sa ating YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, guys. Good day.